the tongue they care for money. There is no single reason for the delay. There is no single reason. I, I've been telling you people, let us go and grab this thing and take it by force. Will you just keep quiet? Just keep quiet for a while. Keep quiet. Stop telling me to keep quiet. I am thinking. I am thinking. You're distracting me. No, you can't. I can't go even see the kid. Just keep us warm. Don't keep us talking. Don't tell him to come down. Why was he delaying us? Our wives did not die again like you promised us. And we are still as poor as ever. Is that something we are not doing right? Did, did we make any mistakes? You did not make any mistake. Your wives cannot die because the great Ogidi has turned his eye against the sacrifice you presented to him. Why? Makagiri? Your wives are daughters of Jaju. And they have sacrificed the three of you in exchange for power and wealth. The great Ogidi cannot feed on the flesh and blood of daughters of Jaju, who is his great friend and spiritual ally. Great one. I don't understand what you just said. Are you trying to say that my wife used me for money ritual? Yes. The more you have sex with women, the more she flourishes in wealth and great power. And you, Benjamin, the more you struggle and hustle in life to make money, the more she acquires more wealth and powers. Nkata, your wife has exchanged your life with the power you used to perform miracles and healings. The more you heal and perform miracles, the more members of your families are afflicted with the same disease and illness you cast away and heal from people. In few weeks' time, the three of you will die. <laughs> Unyozi, what you were actually saying is that our wives have used us for money rituals before we could use them. Yes. Hey! And that I am going to die in a few weeks' time without enjoying anything. Exactly. What do we do, wise one? What do we do? Uh, there must be something we can do to reverse this situation. We, we, we don't want to die. There is nothing I can do or anyone can do to help you. Oh, Gidi. Refused to accept your sacrifice because of its relationship with the great Jazu. Therefore, no one can help you. Oh, great one, please. You have to plead on our behalf. Please. We, we are too young to die. I am just a messenger of Ogidi. I can't take decision or question Ogidi. You people should go home and prepare for the great visit of Great Jazu. Or we look for another way to source your help. Something must be done. Why am I in the Impossible. See you. 
Judy, you have to put yourself together. This is not the way to handle this issue. Your brother's wife is very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. That woman can turn you into a tortoise or goat if you are not careful. See, we have to wait to hear from Ojemba first. Until we hear from him, we will now know what to do. Our main problem now is how to relate this message to your sick mother. That should be our problem. I'm telling you. You're right. But you know there is nothing hidden under the sun. I will sure find a way to let my mother know about it. <laughs> but do let her not go scot-free. If anything happens to my brother, she will pay with her blood. I promise you. Judith, we have to be very careful. You have to be very careful. That woman is very deadly. Uncle, I've heard you. Mama, it's okay. You know you're sick. Please stop crying, Bikon. A child I carried for nine months in my womb has been used for money ritual by a woman he married without my consent or approval. Who did I offend? Is in name. I want to see Benjamin. I want to see my son. I know you want to see him. There is no smoke without fire. And you have to be very strong to be able to save him. Stop crying. You want your sickness to get worse? Be calm. I want to see my son. You will see him. I want to see my son. No. You will see him. You will see him. Hey. Oh, you will assist mm. us, please. <laughs> Mama, it's okay. It's okay. I can bet you. I can bet you. Mama, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I remember telling my wife, I warned that lady several times to stay clear of your so-called and desperate woman. Hey, I can beat my chest and swear on my life it is your so-called and wicked wife that got my woman convinced into using me for rituals. Will you stop swearing on the life you don't have? Watch your tongue. What is wrong with you? We are already in this trouble. This is no time to apportion blames. All we need to do is seek solution. We have got no time. How can my wife do this? Why? The same way we wanted to use them for sacrifice. Why are you asking how can she do it? We just have to buckle up and checkmate them. We have to rugged this anyhow. Plus or minus, I know what to do. I know what to do too. I equally know what to do. Well, you guys need to do whatever it takes to stop them. Whatever it takes. Mm. Musa, what is it? Um, your mother-in-law and her daughter, they're outside the gates. Being what? They say they want to see you. They want to see me or they want to see your girl? You, ma'am. What for? Musa, I don't want to see anybody. Hmm? Do not let them in. Yes, ma'am. Hmm? Okay, ma'am. Let them be there. By the time they are tired, they will go home. Thank you, ma'am. Mumun Mim, the problem in our family is becoming more difficult to handle. As the son of the soil, I decided to come for the way forward. 
Ebujimo, my brother for thank you for coming. We have tried our best. There is nothing we can do again. I even asked you for money, but you did nothing. You asked for money when money was very difficult to come by. As you are looking at me, I am finding it very difficult to feed my family. My business is no longer prospering as it used to be. It's a serious problem. Something came to my mind now. I remember. What is it? There is a native doctor called Mame. My mother's brother told me about him. That's from your maternal home? Yes. Okay. His services are cheap. One foul. That's Ofu Ebwene. Ofu. And he will come and cure them. Are you sure? Ah, they assured me of him. If you are sure, then we don't have problem. I have a fowl in my house. Oh. Uh -huh. We are good to go. So uh, let's go. In that case, I will come to your house for the fowl. Then immediately I will give it to him. Any date he fix. I will let you go. It's all right. Whenever you go, the fowl is ready waiting for us to go. You go, my. too much. Hey. Hey, I said, It's, this is the end of the road for you. So, after all I have been through in life, you think you can use me for money rituals? What on earth did I do to you? That made you to use my destiny for money. And also exchanging my already miserable life that is on the verge of turning around for money rituals. Speak or I blow off your head. You don't need to kill him before his time. Don't you ever, in your whole miserable life, point a gun at me next time. Am I understood? After all of your wicked act, you think it's not enough to point gun at you? Is that what you are saying? Excuse me. Juliet. So my life means nothing to you. So it is actually true that you used me for money rituals. you chose to believe that I used you for money rituals. Why then asking questions? Fine. If you must know, I did what I had to do. And I know very well that you would do worse than I did if the opportunity is given to you. Let me advise you 
make peace with your God because you have a limited time to live. Benjamin, so you really want to kill me? that gets man what are they still doing here what are they still doing here Juliet Juliet what have my son and I done to you where have we offended you how did we offend you Biko this is exactly why I refused to let you and your daughter into my house <laughs> I'll be back shortly, and I wouldn't want to see any of you around my house. <laughs> but if I may ask, what did I ever do wrong to you and your son? What? If not that, I refuse you access to my home because I know you will destroy my peaceful home. Peaceful home, you said? Where you have used my son for money ritual. <laughs> Juliet! Juliet! If you know what you did to my son, go and redo it. Go back to that your evil altar and redo it. Because if you don't, I'll come for you with everything in me. Go and redo what you did to my son. Go and redo what you did to my son. You Juliet. have succeeded in destroying my brother. And we straining him from seeing his family members, right? Mm. You think you have long legs. Even when my man was sick, you never gave us access to him. You never allowed him to come see her. That's too bad of you. But let me tell you, I'm a young girl who has energy in me. And I will show you what I have. You think you can kill him? He is not going to die. I'll tell you, my brother will not die. All right, all right. Um, I'll be back in a few hours. And let me sound a warning. <laughs> If I return here and see both of you around my house, I will use you for that particular thing, that particular purpose. I use your brother, your son. Am I clear? Hey, go and come back now. Go and come back. We are here waiting for you. I am not scared of you. And my mother is not scared of you. Mama, are you scared of her? Scared of this one? Yes, we are not scared of you. We are here waiting for you. If you like, go and don't come back. We are at this gate. We are going to wait for you. You will not do anything. Mama, let's go and sit down. Now. Let's go and sit down. Why am I even bothered? Let her go and come back. Can you tell me in details about the new property you want me to purchase? Okay, it's in a serene environment. Nice. You know, I don't want an environment where I'll be seeing touts hanging around. Okay. All right. Let me call you back. Sweetheart, where have you been? You've not been taking my calls. You left me worried. Worried about what? About your safety. I am your wife. I should be worried if you leave the house without letting me know about your whereabouts. Are you sure you're worried about me? Or you're worried I might get killed before your appointed time for me to die? Excuse you. What are you talking about? What I am talking about is that I'm aware of your plans. I am aware of your covenant. For me to perform miracles and wonders for you while you make money in exchange for my life. I am aware I'm supposed to die in a few weeks' time, but let me tell you, I will not 
ever pray for anybody again in that church. Listen. You have one job to do in this house. That is praying for the sick and performing miracles when and whenever I want it and that is final. I call the shots, not you. I decide whether you will live or die. I decide whether you will perform miracles or not. And right now, you will be performing miracles in my church. You will do your job as my husband. You are paid to do so. If you flout my orders, you will die before your time. Oh, you're a clown. The fact that things have been working for you doesn't mean they will remain so forever. Or could die, you be, or the corner This man standing before you is not scared of death. I have seen death. I have defied death in Amsterdam. I have dined with the devil. For your information, this marriage is over. And like I said earlier, I will not be performing any miracles again for you to flourish and become one of the most successful churches in this country. But that we shall discuss when I'm back. Benji, where are you? Your days are not numbered. Benjamin, your days are not numbered. Mm. Nobody will use you for money ritual. Not while I am still alive. I would rather die than to watch you die. You will not die, my son. Me, Mama, you will not die too. But Mama, I, did anyone say they used me for money rituals? Did you hear, did you hear anyhow that I'm going to die? Benji, I am your mother. I carried you for nine months in this my room and gave birth to you. No woman will use you for any spiritual purpose, for any game whatsoever. <laughs> not while I am alive. I will not watch you die. I will rather die than watch you die. Brother, your wife used you for money rituals. And you just have a few weeks to leave. But it will never happen. Never. Never. What are you people saying? How did you get to hear all this? How did you know? I am your mother. And I go places to ask questions for the good of my children. Eh? That your wife is evil. And you must come back to the village. We will reverse whatever that woman did. We will reverse it and send it back to her. I told you from the very first time I set my eyes on that lady that she is evil. But you ignored me. Now look at what is happening. Look at how far she has gone to take your life. But it will never happen. Not while I am still alive. No woman will kill my son for me. She will never succeed. Mama. Never. Mama, please, we need to go home so that you people can pass the night. We need to sit down and discuss this thing very well. This is not something we should stay here and be talking. Brother, you want us to go back to that house? Your wife warned us when she was leaving. And she came back and ordered her guards 
to strangle us to death, brother. Hey. That's the house you want us to go back to. Ah, uh, we have to run for our dear life. You mean she did? Yes. <laughs> okay. See, let me rush back home. I need to lay hand on some money so that I will lodge people in a good place. We'll sit down and talk about this, Mama. Please, there is no time now. Let me rush, okay? Then let me I just told rush. I'm you that back. woman is evil. Mama. I told you that woman is evil, but she ignored me. Mama, it's okay. It's he okay. ignored me. Mama. Look at what is happening. I will come down. Ah, please, sir. I, I'm, I'm sorry I can't do that. I'm pregnant with your child. You are pregnant? Yes, and you are the father of my own child. I brought you into this house to satisfy my husband and not to get pregnant for him. 